get it! Oh. Basically, a bunch of students have gotten together and created games for virtual reality. I had never done VR before, and upon doing it, I realized how cool it was, and having the chance to make something in VR is just an amazing experience. Computer science handles all of the programming, the interactions, scripting, and then the film students make all of the designs, all of the models. So I demoed a spaceship today, I wrote all of the code that makes the spaceship move and fire weapons, and my partner designed the spaceship and what the missiles look like, how the explosions work. You know, I was a little concerned about how well it would work out when we started the class, but it's been awesome. Collaborating is like pretty beneficial because neither of us knows how to do everything. So like I know how to do the coding part and they know how to do the modeling. And it's really nice because without them I wouldn't have like all the assets to put into the game and it's really useful. Virtual reality is essentially like putting a TV right in front of you that you can look around on all sides. It's kind of like being in the real world but everything's fake. It's really immersive, like you put it on and it's like you're there. It's kind of weird to describe but your brain actually thinks that you're there. We made like a sort of creepy carnival in the woods but it's more of just like a fun game where you can like throw things and just experience the world. There's one that's doing a, a carnival setting where you know, you're going to play some skee ball, hopefully, and uh, they, they decided they wanted to do a cotton candy thing. So they've, there's a cone that you can actually interact with in the headset, pick up, and dunk it into the, uh, the cotton candy tank and bring it out, and it'll have a, a big pink puff on it or whatever. I'm um, just trying to explore with ways to control the interaction and, and freedom inside the, the space. It's uh, intended to be a fully immersive experience. Uh, you're not just looking at one flat screen, you're able to look at every single angle, or look around it, feel like you're within that environment, uh, and, be a, and even to an extent feel like you can manipulate that environment. Uh, just, it's as, as close to reality as you can get it. You feel like you're actually sitting in a video game, and you're within that environment. And it's weirdly natural. That's the biggest thing that really surprised me, is that um, once you get in, it's this, wow, oh, this environment around me isn't actually there, and I'm seeing it. And then it's like, okay, now what can I do with the environment? And you just start interacting with it immediately. You start going in and playing with it. All right, who's next? We're calling it a sandbox course, uh, where we're giving the students a sandbox to play in and explore and, and learn about things. And it's cutting edge technology, so you know, uh, it's brand new and uh, there's really not like books on it or anything like that. For this mini project that they've only been working on for the last three weeks, they've been producing some outstanding stuff. Full-fledged like Star Wars kind of uh, uh, simulations or one, one group has built a fully working trombone in a VR. And so the, we've been just floored by the progress that they've made in just the last three weeks and we're, we have high expectations for the next 10 weeks of what the major project is going to be. So neither side can work in a vacuum. They have to be collaborating at every point to know that, uh, well, well, you have to change this because it's caused a problem on my side, or uh, what I've done has caused a problem on your side, so they have to update things and work side by side the entire time, and they're in constant communication. So uh, we've had to really adapt and uh, change things as we go along. Uh, but the students have done excellent uh, at adapting and, and they've just been producing really, really cool stuff. Far beyond, even in the first three weeks here, they've produced something that uh, I, I, I was expecting for their final projects. And so now we, we, we kind of set our expectations low and uh, we should have set them a lot higher. So every time we come in, uh, they are putting up their latest updates uh, and testing them up on the big screen. And every single time they do that, I'm just my jaw drops, that, wow, how did you do that? And then that's exactly what we were looking for. It's fantastic to see these, these students just, the light bulb moments that keep coming on in each class as they figure out one little piece of code or how to make this model work in this, in this scale. And, and they're, they're growing by leaps and bounds. I had no idea what to expect. They're, they're much further along than I ever thought they would be in five weeks. <laughs> I, I kind of see this as, as, as the first sort of trial run of what we're hoping to do in the Carson Center on a much larger scale. There's no rules. You come in and you create. I really do think that this is how, collabor or how education needs to be done and with this collaborative environment and this very multifaceted team really makes a best learning experience. 
I'll have to deal with this in the future in my career and it's a good thing that we're learning about it now, like how to collaborate across different disciplines. Um, and when you mesh it together like this, it just works out really nicely. Everything is more intuitive, it looks better, it works better. It's the future. Thank you.